Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So, uh, one more famous interview question that we have to get the count of each and every character in a given string. For example, a uh, string is written like this, test. So we have to tell that, okay, T is coming uh, two times, then E is uh, coming only one time, and then S is coming only one time, like that, with the respective total uh, occurrence, that how many uh, times the specific character is getting occurred. Same thing, let's see, if I'm passing only T over here, it should give you that uh, T which is coming only once. If I'm passing, let's see, uh, test, then space, then I'm writing that uh, anything, for example, let's see, auto, like this. So in this case, uh, this space also should be counted, right? It means it should give you T is coming two times, E is coming only one time, S is coming one time, but this space also is coming one time. So how will you do that? So to solve certain kind of questions, these kind of questions, you should always use one collection that is called hash map. And we know that hash map stores the value on the basis of on the basis of key and value pair format. So we will maintain one key and then we will maintain one value over here. And what type of key? The key I'll be maintaining as a character type in my generics. And then I'll be maintaining integer. OK, so this is the hash map that I'm going to create where uh, the specific character I'll be storing as a key and then how many times is it, it is getting repeated or getting occurred then I'll be storing as a value over here in terms of integer so let's see how to do that so first let's see I'm going to create one hash map so let's create one map over here now see this carefully let's see any kind of a string which is coming so I'll do one thing let's create a generic method and then we will keep uh, testing this particular feature so I'll do one thing that I'm going to create a function here. Let's see. This is my public static void get uh, character count function that I have created. And this character count function is saying you give me one. This is my name string. Right. And in this particular name string, I'll do one thing. This character map, I'm going to create it over here, first of all. Okay. And then whatever the name string is there, I'm going to convert this name string into two character array. So this two character array will return me what? It will return me one character array. So let me store in this particular character array. For example, let's see, this is my uh, str array, all right? str array, which is equal to this. Now see this carefully, I'm going to iterate this particular array. So I'll be using one simple for each loop. And what kind of array values are available? In this, we have character type of values. Let's see, c colon, what is your array name? My array name is array over here like this. And then I'll put a condition here, first of all, that the condition here is that if I'll be using this hash map now, this character map, there is a method that contains key method, I'll be using it. If it contains key, why key I'm using? Because the first key is representing the character. So I'll simply say, okay, that if contains what? C. So C will be going to this particular string array one by one. It will check whatever the string that you are passing. And then it will go and check that, okay, yeah, it contains that first character or not. And then what exactly I'm going to do that in this particular character map, I'll be using one put method to add the values. And what exactly you're going to put? I'm going to put C. And then value is what? The value is will be available in the form of integer. So I'm going to do that. Whatever the character map that we have used, a dot, I'll be using this get method. And then I'll be passing the C. And then I'll be using plus one over here because it will give you, if the character is already available, it will give you the specific value. A specific value will be given in the form of integer and then I'll be adding plus one. It means if the character C is present in the in this particular hash map, I'm going to increase its count by one only. Like that, it will be keep adding it over here. Okay, so this is the first condition, let's see, I have written. After that, I'll going to write one else also. If character C is not present inside the correct, uh, in this particular hash map, in this character map, in this case, what exactly I'm going to do that I'm just going to update my character map with the exact value, whatever that you are passing. So I'll be passing C and then only first time it got occurred. So I'll be writing C comma one. Do not write C plus one over here or get C plus one. Get C plus one. You have to write whenever the contains key is already available. OK, this condition is satisfied. Then only you have to write C plus one. So once this uh, complete uh, loop is done, in that case, after that, I what exactly I'm going to do that. I'm just going to print a statement here. Let's see, system.out.println. And uh, 
let's see whatever the name value first of all that you are passing i'll be appending with a colon and then i'll be appending with whatever the character count map that you have captured i'll be just exactly printing the character map over here right and let's see it is working or not so i'm going to call this method from the main method now and this is my get character count method i'm going to call it and let's see the first string that i'm passing test over here so see this carefully this method will be called test will be given to this guy character map got created i got one character array also and then char c it means uh, it will go to this particular character array the first c value is what t it will check in this character map do you have t no i don't have that so it will come in inside the else condition and then it will say okay fine for t it's coming only once so this value will be updated like that then again it will go and for e then it's going for s so for t e s every time it will come inside the else part and then it will go to again t then again it will check okay yeah the last value is t it contains t or not yes we have that t is already available in that case what will happen again you update the same t and then get the exact count uh, with the help of character map dot get c and then add a plus one over here so what will you get the plus one will be added over here okay so the count will be two now perfect so let's see this is working or not so i'll run it and run as java application so here you can see yes absolutely working fine s equal to one t equal to two and e equal to one you can see it like this now for example let's see if i'm writing let's uh, keep uh, testing it if someone is asking this question in hacker rank or something you have to write the test cases as well so make sure that okay this test this logic is absolutely working fine with multiple test data i'm writing only one t it means it should give you the count of one only t equal to one only this is also working fine and then i'm going to write let's see uh, t two times then again you run it so it's giving yep in this particular string t is coming two times this is absolutely working fine then i'm going to write let's see i'm writing testing and uh, i'm writing let's see java here so here you can see t is coming two times and then again i'm writing test over here so here t is coming four times actually in this entire string and let's see it is working or not so here absolutely working fine see it's giving there are two spaces so this is giving the count of two space you can see there are two space space number one and then this is space number two like this over here so that's why if you run it again so here you're getting the output is like that space equal to two a equal to two yes a is coming two times yes java a is two times t equal to four equal to two and then the rest of the things are coming only one time only right so this is absolutely working fine over here and let's see let's see i'm just running with some a t with one space so t equal to one and a space equal to one it should work like that so yes you can see t equal to one and a space equal to one this is also working fine then let's see if i'm writing uh only one space then will this work let's see because the space is also a char uh, character so here you can see in this particular space a string in this particular space a string a space is coming only one time okay so this is also working fine then i'm going to write okay space two spaces are coming like that so here you can see space number one space number two so in this case is it working let's see so it's saying yeah space is coming two times over here so this is also absolutely working fine then let's see i'm right where <coughs> uh nothing is getting repeated for example let's see i'm writing so for all the characters it should come only once like this so this is also absolutely working fine let's see if i'm writing sel and sel three times like that in this case also it should be satisfied over here like this you can see that a space is coming two times there are two spaces available s equal to three equal to three and l equal to three then i'll do one thing that uh, some boundary value analysis i'll put some space at the beginning and put some space at the end let's see these spaces also getting counted or not so this is also absolutely working fine like that okay now interviewer can ask you this question that okay i don't want to include the space because every time if any space is available see it's giving you the space count also i have to uh, exclude this condition i don't want to consider a space i just give just give me the exact character counts are available or not and ignore the spaces so in this case how will you do that so in this case it will be very simple what you do is you just need to put one simple if condition over here 
So you will come inside the for loop before inserting the values in your hash map. You just put one if condition here and then you write a string dot value of this particular character C. It means you supply this C to a string dot value of and then you check one method that is is blank method or not. And then you reverse the condition. It means if it is blank. Okay. And then you put the condition over here like this and it over here like this. Okay, if it is blank, so what will happen? Let's see some blank value is there, then you don't need to update your hash map in that case. If it is blank, this condition will be true, but this switch, this not will switch the condition, it will re reverse the condition. So this will become false, so it will come out of this particular if condition. It means if any spaces are available, it will never be considered. So when you run this program, let's see, it should not consider any space. Can you see that s equal to 3, a equal to 2, it's not considering any space at all. In fact, when I'm passing the space also, it's not giving you any count over here. So if someone is asking this question that how will you ignore the spaces, simple add uh, this condition over here. So right now I'm just commenting out this condition. Later on, you can just check it over here. Right now, the question is that we have to include the space as well. So guys, whenever you're solving these kind of questions, you have to solve with the hash map, which will be very easy. This is what they are expecting that which appropriate collection that you want to use or you are going to use to solve this problem and then you have to keep writing your test cases also that it should satisfy with the different data and then your output should come correctly now i'm giving you one simple assignment put in the comment section you have to give me any string that you are passing you have to give me the total space count how many spaces or how many blank uh, values are available in that particular string can you give me so let's see we have three sorry one and two spaces are available you just give me the space count that's it you don't need to give me any other character count, only the space count. In this case, we have space number one, space number two, three and four. So space equal to four should be on the console output. Can you guys do that? Same hash map that you have to use it over here. So this is a very simple interview question, guys. Please look into it, practice it. Just a game of only one if else condition. And whenever you're declaring your hash map, your uh, key will be in character and then the value will be in integer. This integer value is representing a total number of occurrences. And this key is representing the specific character in that particular string. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you're learning something from this channel. And a lot of good things are coming on this channel. Till then, take care and God bless you all.